Hello, my name is Daisy Midas and I will be talking to you guys a little bit more about, about our financial management strategy, plan versus actual for years 5 and 6. First, we're going to look at our bank loans for year 5 plan. We had no projected borrowing due to the fact that we are expected to have a higher cash flow throughout year 5 and 6. Um, however, due to low revenue and, and low sales, we had a required bank loan of $93,000 quarter one, year five, but thereafter we had no other bank loans. Next, we're going to look at our time CDs. For years five and six, we plan to invest $500,000 per quarter. Our plan matched our actual $500,000 per quarter. In fact, for year six, we increased our time CDs to $1 million per quarter, quarters one through four. Actually, quarters one through three. Uh, we chose to invest in time CDs because they have a high yield and low risk. Next, we're going to look at our bond issue and repurchase. We had no planned bond issue and repurchase for years five or year six. Um, however, we did purchase bond issues quarters one through four, two million quarter one, and six million thereafter on two years six. We did this in order to increase our cash flows. Next, we're going to look at our stock issue or buyback. We did plan to issue stock, however, we had no actual number, but we were not able to due to the fact that we had low sales and due to low revenues. Now, next, finally, we're going to look at our dividends paid. We plan to issue dividends the last quarter of year five, which is quarter four. We plan to issue 20 cents per share. However, again, due to the fact that we did have low sales and low revenue, we thought it'd be better to reinvest all of our funds back into the company in order to increase our cash flows and revenues. My name is Richard and I'm presenting the financial statements for year 5 and 6. Net sales for year 5, we had 19 million. Cost of goods sold, we had 10 million. Our gross profit for that year was 9 million. Um, for year 6, net sales was 20 million. Cost of goods sold was 10 million. And our gross profit for that year was 9 million. Our gross profit from year five and six is about the same, so we didn't really increase in our sales. And for cash flows in year five, we collected and in, our, in our accounts 18 million. Our CDs was 26. Sales to liquidators, we had a 500 for year five. For year six, uh, our cash collected for that year was 19 million. We had CD interest 43, and we had zero to liquidators. For our balance sheet in year five, cash balance we had 18 million. Time CDs we have two million. Accounts receivable we had nine million. Inventory for year five we had eight million. For year six we had cash balance of 27 million and time CDs we have 3 million accounts receivable we have 10 million for year 6 and our inventory for that year we have 5 million our differences for cash balance from year 5 and 6 increased about half more Hi, I'm Jen Behrens and I'm going to be talking about our variance analysis for our actual versus our projected. The three statements that we're going to be looking at for year six are income statements, cash flow, and balance sheets. Off of our income statement, we had two um, items that were greater than 25%, which was our cost of goods sold and our gross profit. The cost of goods sold was a positive 42% deviation, and that was because our production costs um, were much higher than we had um, actually forecasted. So our solution would be to better forecast our production costs. As far as gross profits are concerned, we had a negative 48% deviation from our forecasted values. And there are three items that would affect our gross product, which is sales price, sales volume, and costs. Um, our particular um, gross profits were affected by um, lower sales volume and higher costs. Therefore, our actual profit is lower than our forecasted profit, which meant that the total profit variance is unfavorable and then would be debited. So our solution for this would be to increase our sales volume and decrease our costs. The 
Um, next area that we looked at for um, year six was our cash flow statement, which um, we had only accounts collected, which was a negative 41% deviation. And this is because of, um, we had forecasted higher amounts of products being sold, which means fewer receipts were collected. So our solution, because of our error due to inputting from year three on production, caused us to receive less funds. Um, so when we got to year six, we had actually affected our ability to increase our research and development, which um, made us less competitive with our other teams because we weren't able to offer um, the same products. The last um, look, um, year six um, balance sheet um, that we're going to look at is for um, time CDs and inventory, which was greater than 25%. And our time CDs was actually a positive 50%. Our inventory was a negative 48%. And the reason that um, our time CDs was um, higher um, was because we had forecasted an amount um, lower than we needed. Our inventory, we had an error again, like I said, from our year three inputting. And so this caused us um, to have um, more inventory um, or less inventory um, than we had at, actual than what we had forecasted. And this was because we had less funds, again, to invest into R&D so we could get the same products that the other teams um, were offering so we could be more competitive with them. And so um, our basic solution would have been to be more careful in our inputting when we first began the game off. Hi, my name is Angelica Garcia. I will be talking about how our company did in compared to industry and competitors. For year five, industry RA average was 6.66%. Due to a 276,000 net loss, the lowest um, ROA was company two with a negative 1.32%. Also, the lowest ROE was also done with a negative 2.20%. For the same reason, our industries, our company's ROE was 64%, which is really low in compared to industry average of 11.79%. Market share industry average was 25%, and due to low sales, our company was the lowest at 21.53%. Stock price average was 1.51%. Our stock price companies was 65 cents. Unit production cost, industry average was $4.98, and the highest um, unit production cost was company one with $5.49. Total net income, industry average was 1,102,000. Company two had a, again, two, 276,000 net loss. We were also, um, had a really low net loss of 80, I had a really low net of 84,000, and the highest goes to company four with 2,391,000. Our company lower ROA and ROE in year six due to a net loss of 544,000 for that year. Year six, for that year, company one increased their total net income to 3,187,000, and our, corpora our corporation, UP U United Production Cost, increased from $5.06 to $5.73. Overall, MyComp did not reach um, the target goals because the company's struggles were, um, had, because the company had struggles those two years, but however, we did manage to lower um, our debt a lot.